I'm taking you on a trip across Canada. We're going to see the West Coast, the Rocky Mountains, the prairies, the Canadian Shield, and the Great Lakes. We're going to go all the way over to the East Coast. And I want you to sit right here as we go on an adventure across Canada. All right, we're getting on our last ferry, guys. Look at that. LabradorMarine.com. I guess that's the name of the ferry, the Labrador Marine. So we're we're going from from Newfoundland Island over to Labrador. It's not very far. It's only about a, I think it's it's less than two hours. I think it's like an hour and forty five minute trip over to the mainland. <laughs> it'll be nice to be back on the mainland in Canada. Yeah, it'll be my first time in Labrador, so so that'll be awesome. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's just a really sort of a nice, cool, chilly morning here. All right, you can see the vehicle starting to move there. I better get back in my SUV and get on the ferry. All right, here we go. The last ferry trip of our Canada trip. Man, one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth ferry I've taken. That is, uh, that is awesome. All right, guys, we're on the ferry headed for Labrador, and uh, we haven't left yet. We're still at dock. I think the vehicles are still getting on here, but take a look at this. Isn't this a nice ferry? It's not very big. I think this is the smallest ferry we've been on yet. Um, hey, take a look at this lifeboat. Wow. It says max six persons. Look at that, max six persons. Six? There's a lot more than six people on this boat. Hmm. I'm probably not important enough to make the cut if it's six. <laughs> How about you? Would you be important enough to make it on, to be one of the six people on the lifeboat? <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting close to our destination. I think the land is somewhere here, but you can't see it because it's so foggy. Look at this. It's the foghorn! <laughs> wow! It's so loud! I can't believe how loud it is. But uh, I guess it's important so that we don't hit any other ships. Look at that. You can't see very far out in the fog at all. Wow, this is really cool. I don't think I've ever been on the sea when it's foggy like this. Yeah, you can't see very far. I don't know, maybe a few hundred meters, maybe less, I don't know, maybe 50 meters. Look at that. That is so cool. Anyway, I don't want to go deaf getting blasted from that foghorn, so I think I'm going to go back inside here. Wow. Welcome to Markland. Welcome to Markland. You know, Labrador used to be called Markland. Okay, when the Vikings came here, the Vikings called it Markland. Did you know that the Vikings were here? The Vikings came here before Christopher Columbus. The Vikings landed in this area here, Newfoundland and Labrador, in about year 1000. Year 1000, now it's year 2019. So more than a thousand years ago, the Vikings came here. Just look at this amazing spot, man. Just, this has got to be one of the most beautiful places in Canada I've ever seen. Just look at that, look at those rocks and look at the green moss. I don't know if it's moss growing on the rocks and then you've got the ocean here. Man, this coastline, this is something else. Wow, I'm so glad I came to Labrador to see this. Man, have you ever seen anything like this? I think this is what Greenland looks like. Yeah, this is how I imagine like the south coast of Greenland to look like. Wow, it's so foggy and fresh. The air is really fresh. You can hear the ferry, the foghorn. I just got off the ferry there and wow, this is just astonishing. So. 
Welcome to Markland. Wow, look at this guys. Isn't that spectacular? That's just breathtaking. Look at that view. Man. To me, this looks like the Scottish Highlands. Doesn't it look like the Highlands? You just got these like big rocks everywhere, you know, and the nice green hills. Wow, that is, that's breathtaking, man. It, is, it looks like, to me, it just, it reminded me of the Scotland. I've never been to Scotland, but uh, when I imagine the Highlands, the Scottish Highlands, I think of this, you know, just sort of green mountains, some trees, rocks. Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I would think I was in, in Scotland or, uh, or maybe Iceland or something like that. That's just amazing. This is definitely one of the most amazing landscapes I've seen in Canada. Ah, the Canadian wilderness. Look at this wilderness, guys. There's just nothing out here except flowers. Look at these nice purple flowers, some bushes, some trees. You can hear a, a river over there. It's just so peaceful here in the wilderness. You know, I was thinking as I was driving along the highway, I was thinking of a question I wanted to ask you, okay? And the question is, what is the farthest distance you've ever been from another human being? So what is the farthest you've ever been away from another human being? You know, for me here, there's, you know, there's, there's no one here. There's no one here. I'm in the middle of the wilderness. But what about you? Have you ever been 10 meters away from someone before? Or maybe 100 meters? Have you ever been 100 meters? Or what about a kilometer? Have you ever been a whole kilometer away from another human being in this world? Or maybe 10 kilometers? Well, right now, you know, I'm just in the middle of the wilderness. I, I don't know where the nearest person would be. I mean, nobody lives in this area. Um, you know, it would just be someone driving along the road. That would be the nearest. So the nearest person is the nearest car. I don't know how far that is away. You know, maybe that's, maybe that's uh, 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers, maybe one kilometer. I don't know. I'm just, I'm probably far away. For, there's a lot of bugs out here. <laughs> a lot of insects, mosquitoes, and other small bugs. Okay, so, I'm not sure if I can hear a car. No, I think that's just the river. So yeah, I'm far away. I just thought that was sort of an interesting, an interesting thing to think about. You know, this might be right now up here in Labrador. This might be the farthest I've ever been away from another human being. It's insects biting my back. How did they get down my shirt? <laughs> yeah, so, so I think this, this could be the farthest I've ever been away from another human being in my life. There's just nothing out here, guys. Here, I'll, I'll show you a map here um, so you can see what it looks like, okay? Right now, I'm up here somewhere, way up here in the wilderness. I mean, <laughs> there's probably uh, some moose, right? There's probably some bears and some moose. Um, but aside from that, the population is just me. The population of this square kilometer is one. Just me. You know, I've been in some parts of the world with really dense populations, um, like uh, like the Mong Kok district in Hong Kong. Have you ever been to Hong Kong? Well, there's a district called Mong Kok, and that district uh, has a population density of 130,000 people per square kilometer. Can you believe it? 130,000 people per square kilometer. Right, you can see this square kilometer here, uh, you know, there is, there is nobody here. <laughs> this is just in the middle of, uh, I gotta, gotta start driving again. These bugs are driving me crazy. <laughs> hey, there's two meanings of the word driving. One is to drive a car. Another one is to drive you crazy. They're driving me mad. It means they're making me angry. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the map and put a sticker on for our... Where are my stickers? 
Oh, here they are. Okay, um, so we drove across Newfoundland, okay, and then we took a ferry from about there over to Labrador here. So, and now we're driving sort of up and around here. Now we're, we're going to a place called Happy Valley Goose Bay. Wow, what, what a name for a place. Happy Valley Goose Bay. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that an awesome name for a, a town? Happy Valley Goose Bay. Four words. That is awesome. That's such a great, a great name for a town. And that's going to be the last spot. The last spot on our trip, okay? So we've come from here, all the way from here across Canada to here, and now we're gonna go here and then back across to Calgary. So we are ending our we're ending our adventure at Happy Valley Goose Bay. So you know this is wow, Labrador. This is a great, a great place to end the trip. It's just so beautiful. You know, I'm so happy I came to Labrador. Today it's just a bit rainy, um, but uh, it's still beautiful, except for these bugs. These bugs are, uh, <laughs> these bugs are crazy. Imagine spending the night in the woods. The bugs would just attack you. You would just be eaten alive by all these bugs. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to show you on the map where we're going, where we are right now, and oh, let's roll the dice while we're at it because that is our custom here. Okay, so what should I... Oh, the ground is a bit wet from the rain. Um, it's okay if the dice gets wet because this might be the last time I roll the dice. Well, this isn't the last episode. I'm gonna make one more episode yet, but uh, let's, uh, let's roll the dice here to find out. If... I hope we get good luck. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh no! We got bad luck. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who always likes and subscribes and everything. Even if you dislike. If you don't like Labrador, you can dislike this video. Look at that. If you don't think this is beautiful, if you don't like purple flowers, then smash the dislike button right down there. And if you, if you love bugs, if you love being eaten alive by bugs, then, uh, then smash the dislike button. <laughs> but if you like flowers and you like to not be eaten by bugs, then smash that like button. Okay, so now we're just gonna keep driving. I might stop a few places to show you some, some things. I don't know if it's gonna keep raining, but uh, if it keeps raining, I'll probably just drive, keep driving all the way, but it just stopped raining for a little bit. That's why I wanted to show you this nice place and talk a little bit about the Canadian wilderness. Look at this amazing landscape. Man, this is just gorgeous. Isn't this beautiful? You know, one thing I love about Labrador uh, is that you can actually see really far when you're, when you're driving along the road, right? There are places, actually most of it so far has been like this, where you can actually see pretty far because the trees aren't very, aren't very tall. I mean, there are tall trees, but but most of it is just like this kind of a landscape where it's almost like a marsh. Do you know what a marsh is? A marsh is just sort of like like uh, wetlands, right? Where you've got like little little pools of water, some grass, small trees. Like look at the size of these trees. They're small. So yeah, driving through Labrador is much more enjoyable than some of the other places um, that I've been to. You know, when we were in Newfoundland, driving across Newfoundland. It wasn't as nice as this because most of the time you just have trees on each side of the road and you can't really see very far. But here, you know, it's just open. You can see for, you know, miles. You know, you can try to try to spot some bears or some moose. Now, I haven't seen any moose or bears here in Labrador yet, but boy, there must be there must be some moose living out here. I mean, look at this. There's just nothing here. Someone's got to live here, you know, if it's not humans, well, it's got to be moose or bears or squirrels. There are a lot of bugs. Yeah, the bugs, maybe the bugs have chased all the animals away. Maybe this is a bug paradise. No animals or humans, no mammals allowed, only insects up here in the Canadian wilderness. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying just driving through this, 
this place. It's just so, it's just so remote. It's so remote. Remote means very far away from civilization. Right? There's no civilization anywhere. There's no cell phone service. There's no radio. There's nothing. We're in, we're far north. We're just like in the middle of the vast wilderness. That's a good word, vast. It's just, it's just vast. The Canadian wilderness is so huge. And this is the, I think this is the first time I've really gotten a good taste of the Canadian wilderness. You know, no cell phone, no radio. I'm just in the middle of nowhere. You can see here this road, just sort of a dirt road uh, that uh, I'll be driving here for about 12 or 13 hours. Right, so today we're going to drive about 12 or 13 hours and uh, yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Just, just listen for a second. You can hear a few birds maybe, but it's just quiet. It's silent. No cars, no cities, no nothing, nothing. Just, just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's so quiet. It's almost a bit scary being so far away from, from another human being. So far away from a city or a town or a, a grocery store or a gas station. You know, every gas station I see, I make sure I'm filling up my vehicle because I don't know when the next gas station, <laughs> where it'll be. Oh man. But uh, yeah, if you have car problems in a place like this, like, I don't know what I would do if I had car problems. I'd just maybe set up my tent, pitch my tent here, and spend the night here in the Canadian <laughs> Canadian woods. I don't know if I can drink that water. Probably not. I don't think that's good to drink. But maybe. I don't know. I'm not a wilderness survival person. I don't know. I don't think I could survive out here in the wilderness. I mean, it looks peaceful, right? It looks really calm and, and peaceful, but it's actually cold. Um, it's not too cold right now. It's probably about 14 degrees or something. But um, in the winter, this would be terrible. In the winter, it would be impossible to survive. But in the summer, I'm sure a person could survive if they had food and water. But I don't know where a person would find food and water here. Like, what would you, what would you do? Okay, if you were just here, in the middle of the Canadian wilderness, what what would you do? Would you try to would you try to eat something? Like would you try to eat some berries or some leaves? Or would you try to catch a a bird or a rabbit to eat that? Or I don't know. I don't know. I mean it's just it's it's just a bit it's a bit it's just a bit crazy. It's a crazy thought to, to imagine just being out here. You know, imagine being the first settlers to come to Canada and just like, I mean, I'm driving along this road. Somebody made this road, right? And that's amazing. I can drive through. But imagine if there wasn't a road. How would you how would you actually go through this? Even walking would be hard because there's like water and it's just bushes. It's, it's hard. It's a hard terrain to to walk through. I mean, if you had a horse. Would it help if you had a horse? Yeah, maybe. Or a... I don't know. It's just its crazy. You know, it's just crazy to think how undeveloped most of Canada is. Most of Canada looks like this. No roads. Uh, you know, no people. No towns. No stores. Just trees. And... And grass. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I can see a moose. You know, I've been waiting to see a a moose or a bear here on in this side of Canada but so far I haven't seen it but anyway just wanted to show you how just how beautiful and remote this place is I think that's a that's a good word remote vast wilderness those are cool and another thing I like about this is the trees the trees are actually a lot different you have these sort of weird looking trees that the the green is on the it's like got a green tuft on top of the tree and it's like not like a normal tree like these are normal you have some normal looking trees like that and then most of those trees over there are just weird looking right they i don't know what kind of trees those are but uh yeah i haven't seen trees like that before in my life 
So, but those trees are all over this place. So yeah, I just, oh man, this is just so amazing. I'm so glad I came to Labrador. The air is so fresh. It's, uh, it's peaceful, it's calm, you can see. I mean, I've been walking around, talking for a few minutes. No vehicles. Wow, it's a big swarm of bugs. Anyway, I'll get back in my car and we'll keep going on our trip. I'm looking for a moose. I can't believe I haven't found a moose yet. Wouldn't this be the perfect place to live if you were a moose? Man, you could just live in freedom. You have the whole wilderness to yourself. And look at this. Wouldn't this be the best place to live if you were a moose? If you were a moose, wouldn't you like to live here? I don't know, you could just eat some grass. You could eat these nice little plants. I don't know what kind of plants these are. You could eat some berries. I don't, I don't know, what do moose eat? What would you eat if you were a moose? Yeah, you could just live in, in freedom, go on some nice walks. I don't know what moose do in their free time. What do you think moose do in their free time? <laughs> I have no idea. They probably just eat, sleep, go on some nice walks. If you were a moose, what would you do in your free time? Whoop, just about tripped over that rock there. Yeah, what would you do in your free time? If you, if you were a moose and you lived here, you know, just in this nice, nice Canadian bush, what would you do? That would just be sort of crazy. What a life. No internet. No YouTube. You couldn't watch my YouTube videos if you were a moose. Boy, that would really suck. No internet. <laughs> I don't know if I can live without internet. I would need internet. If I was a moose, I would make sure to uh, to get some internet out here in the Canadian wilderness. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I don't know, that would just be too hard living without internet and being eaten alive by bugs. I better get back in my car and keep going. Oh man, look at this, guys. Isn't this gorgeous? Wow, just a nice little lake here. Man, I think driving across Labrador is one of the highlights of my trip. This is just breathtaking. It's just, look at this. I mean, I know you can't, I know you can't feel what it's like in the camera, but I wish I could communicate to you what it feels like. It's just, it's fresh. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's magnificent. You know, one of the lines in the Canadian National Anthem is, uh, is the true north strong and free. The true north, strong and free. So right here we are, you know, in the north. This is the true north. It's strong and free. I mean, just look how free it is. <laughs> there's, uh, there's just nothing out here. If you want to come live here, you could, you could just live here. It's free, you know. I don't know how you'd survive here with all these bugs. But um, yeah, the true north, strong and free. This is the first time I've really gotten a feeling of that. You know, I was just thinking about our, our national anthem uh, when I was driving. And I thought, yeah, you know, the true north, strong and free. I haven't really thought about that before, but this is it. This is the true north, strong and free. And look at these flowers, guys. I think these are my new favorite flowers. Okay, they're growing all over the side of the, you know, the, the road here. And they're just such a cool color. They're like a... Uh, sort of like a peach, like a peach color, okay? Like, let me see if I can find a, a patch of them. I know they don't look, like close up, they don't actually look that great. They look sort of like they're just wet and uh, they're almost like a wet cloth. But from far away, they look sort of like that bright, uh, sort of like a bright peach color. You know, they just, they just sort of cover all the marsh here. Isn't that beautiful? That's just so gorgeous. And I think these are the coolest flowers. I mean, I haven't seen flowers like this. Uh, here, let's see if I can pick one to show you what it actually looks like. Okay, you can see it looks like, uh, looks like wet hair. Look at that. 
Looks like just got out of the shower. Like a woman got out of the shower. Maybe like Donald Trump. Looks like Donald Trump just got out of the shower and his hair is all... <laughs> That's great. But um, yeah, so this is just... This is just breathtaking. I don't know what else to say about this place, but um, it's so peaceful. It's just... It's just so cool with those little trees. All kinds of like plants, wet marshland. Ah, so welcome to the true north, strong and free. Welcome to Happy Valley Goose Bay. Look at this nice place. Isn't this beautiful? I don't know if this is uh, part of the ocean here, or if this is a lake. Um, and then those nice sandbars over there, wow. This is just such a gorgeous spot. A gorgeous spot to stay for my last, last night of the trip. Wow, the trip is, is coming to an end. The next episode is going to be my last episode. Man, so... Uh, yeah, well, I'm just going to eat my lunch here now, right down by the water, and uh, yeah, I'm just a bit sad to be ending this trip, to be honest. It's been such a great trip.